Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol SAVA Cassava Sciences. So this is a company that I've been researching, um, and I've actually watched the company make some moves. Uh, the stock price has been uh, so volatile, uh, but it's getting to the point where I'm starting to feel like I should get in on the action at least um, from a very minimum standpoint. Get in on the action. So. Uh, that's what I want to talk about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So uh, when it comes to SAVA, again, ticket symbol S-A-V-A, um, it's a stock that has gone through ups and downs. Um, again, right now it's on the downside uh, because of some bad information that came out about the stock. So uh, basically this is a company that is actually researching and trying to come up with medication for Alzheimer's. And so they are leading that space and like trying to come up with um, new medication. Um, it's we've seen the stock go up, go down. Uh, again, most recently the stock took a massive beating because uh, one of the short seller firms came out and, and said some of the data that they had presented to the FDA about their triers uh, was actually not true. It was fiction. Um, so the stock really took a beating. So again, uh, the company is actually working on um, Alzheimer's disease, um, just to do kind of like an early detection and then treatment of, of that disease. So uh, you're probably asking yourself, but um, how do I, or what what's in there for me for this stock? Um, here's what I want us to take a look at, and then we're gonna come back here. So first, let's go just jump right here, take a look at the stock price. Uh, as you can see right here, um, back in, uh, I think this is February of 2021, you can see the stock went to as high as $88 and then pulled back to 34 back in April when we had that massive pullback in the market and then squeezed all the way to a high of about $135, almost $136. That's back in July uh, of 2021 and then pulled back down to uh, $70 and then again back to 124 and then now down to one to $44 um, test test 68 or 69 now sitting at $52 and some change so again if you're looking at all this massive swing you're probably thinking like boy I don't think I want to get into this stock so um, for me uh, the fact that the stock can pull back down again towards these lows down here um, again and then the fact that they have actually initiated uh, phase three of the, uh, the trial so I'm just gonna bring it right here so phase three um, trial program is just they just initiated that um, even after the they had the issue with the short seller report that pulled the price of the stock down um, right now their phase three is still in progress um, the FDA did actually approve um, yeah, phase three. So it's actually going on right now. So um, let's just go back here again. I want to show you guys uh, some of the news. So you can see here the phase three is still uh, moving forward. So imagine that the short seller report came out and said the data was not real data, but yet the FDA um, is actually um, allowing them to go ahead with their phase three, which tells me that if they had that much of an issue with the data, the FDA would probably would have put a pause on this and tell them to wait um, until that was resolved. The fact that the FDA is allowing them to move forward with their phase three tells me that um, there is not much here that the, the FDA doesn't really think that the data was that bad as much as the short seller firm uh, reported. But if you just take a look here at the numbers, if you're trading somewhere about 118 to $120, and the thing pulls down to uh, $43, that's a lot of money for short sellers. I mean, as you can see here, that is huge, huge money um, for short sellers. So the report actually really earned the short sellers a ton of money. Um, but for the company, I think that was a bad rap. And so I don't think they don't wanna do it. So here's what I am planning on doing here. Um, the fact that this thing has been holding around this uh, particular price point here, again, I'm looking somewhere between um, 40 and 50 within that price point. What I anticipate do is I'm going to open up a small position. Um, again, this is high risk, high reward um, for this particular one because if the phase three trial data comes out and 
really, really flop, guess what? The stock price is even gonna go down. It won't surprise me if this thing can go down back and even test the teens. So, but if it phase three data comes out and be like thumbs up, I anticipate that this thing is probably gonna skyrocket and go back to over a hundred dollars. So that's my premise here. Um, again, this is not one that I am telling you guys it's long term. I'm actually going in here uh, with a small size, but even uh, what I anticipate doing more so is not just going and actually buying the full stock. What I plan on doing is I'm gonna buy some call options because those are cheaper. So if I can buy 100 shares for let's say um, 80 bucks or 100 bucks, um, so I buy call options, that would be a lot cheaper. Again, if you don't know what these are, if you don't know what call options are, um, basically um, these are, you buying uh, one one contract has about a uh, hundred shares in it or has a hundred shares not about has a hundred shares in it so if you buy one contract with a hundred shares the price is usually for for options is usually cheaper than buying the full uh, 100 shares outright so 100 shares at $40 that's four grand right but if you buy um, a one contract that has 100 shares uh, let's say a strike price of 80 or 90 bucks you can lose that 80 bucks completely if it expires um, completely out of the money or you can make a lot of money if it expires in the money so if you buy that and buy that by the by the strike price that stock is trading somewhere around there then you're good you can make a lot of money so that's my that's my game plan here but i wanted to introduce you guys to this company i'm not sure if any of you guys already has some you know has a position here or you've actually traded this uh i traded i've traded a server uh, several times um, day trading it, but now I'm looking to kind of do a swing trade on it just based on the fact that when I look at the chart here um, and the fact that they are doing this phase two trier, I don't mind taking a, a position here and just uh, getting my hands wet uh, with the stock from a swing trade standpoint. Again, I'm going the route of doing options as opposed to buying individual stocks because that at least kind of limit how much liquidity is going to be tied up into the stock and also if the thing expires um out of the money i only stand to lose what i paid for let's say if i buy one contract for 80 bucks i can lose it can expire worthless so i can lose that 80 bucks and i'm not gonna sweat it but uh, on the flip side i can make three four five hundred dollars off of that 80 so that is my my game plan here again let me know uh, what you guys think about is um, for those of you guys that are into uh, pharmaceuticals, guys, if you know a lot more about this particular stock, please kind of leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. If you feel strong about this stock, you think you feel strong about the direction that the company is going, uh, you know a little bit more about them. Again, let me know in the comment section. Uh, and as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a goody savage. Stay motivated.